When picking wild garlic, you should be aware of Lily of the Valley, as it's a potentially deadly poisonous look-alike. Lily of the Valley does grow wild in the UK, though it's not very common. I do occasionally see it in woodlands, but you'll mostly find it as a garden escapee along hedgerows and pathways near residential areas. The leaves of the two plants look very similar. If I hold them side by side, this is wild garlic on the right, and this is lily of the valley on the left. So both plants have oval leaves with a pointed tip. They're roughly the same size, and both have parallel veins that run the length of the leaf. So they're very similar looking. The first thing to check with wild garlic is the scent. Wild garlic leaves have a strong oniony garlic smell, whereas lily of the valley leaves don't really have much of a scent. Also with wild garlic, you get several leaves all growing from the base of the plant. Whereas Lily of the Valley has two leaves growing upright from the stem. It's much easier to distinguish the two plants when they're both in flower. Wild garlic has a rounded head of many star-like flowers, each with six white petals. Lily of the Valley has white or pinkish bell-shaped flowers that nod over and they have sepals that curl backwards. And also Lily of the Valley has sweetly scented flowers. So always remember to check for the onion smell when you're foraging wild garlic. Thanks for watching.